Good morning, boys and girls. I hope that you guys are doing great today. Um, today, we're gonna be focusing on retailing using our five finger retail. So I want you to take out your hand and let's go ahead and review what all of our little fingers mean. So our thumb, this is where we find the setting. This is where the story takes place. Our index, this is where we find the characters. These are the people, the animals, or the things that talk and have a important job in the story. This is the beginning. This is what happens first in the story. This is the middle. This is what happens second in the story and where the problems usually are. And this is the end. This is what happens last in the story. And this is usually where we fix the problem with a great big heart. It's where we see the happily ever after. And in the middle, this is what the story is all about. The main idea or the main topic right? They both mean the same thing. It's just what the story is all about. All right, so let's jump into our book. Our book is called Nugget and Fang. We're going to stop throughout the story to figure out our five-finger retail, okay? Nugget and Fang, written by Tammy Sewler, illustrated by Michael Slack. In the deep, deep ocean lived two best friends, Nugget and Fang. They did everything together. So just by looking at the illustration and by listening to the words, we already know that the setting of the story is going to be in the ocean. We also have both characters, and that is Nugget and Fang. This is Nugget, the little nugget, and this is Fang, the big shark. Now, so far we know they're best friends and they live in the ocean. They swam over, they swam under, they swam all around. So now we can figure out the beginning of the story. And the beginning of the story is we've got Nugget and Fang and they're swimming in the ocean and they're very best friends. Until it was time for Nugget to go to school. So now we're jumping into the middle of the story and let's take a look at the illustration. It was time for Nugget to go to school. If we look at Nugget's face, he seems happy. He seems like he's ready to go to school. However, now in the middle of the story, we're having a problem because if you notice, Fang is kind of sad that his very best friend has to start school. On Monday, Nugget was busy with reading. Today's story is all about three little minions and a big bad shark. A big bad shark? Ha, huh, said Nugget, impossible. So Nugget knows that Fang is not a big bad shark. So he knows that that can't be true. Something that's impossible can't happen. Nugget was busy with math. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. But what if there were 10 minions and a shark came along and ate four of them? How many minions are left? <gasps> is this a trick question? A shark would never do that, said Nugget. So they're teaching Nugget at school that sharks can be dangerous, but Nugget knows that's not true because his best friend is a shark. And Nugget was busy with science. Oh, science. Sharks are scary. Here's the proof. Marine food chain, shark, and then there's all those little fish that he's trying to eat. Once again, Nugget knows this cannot be happening. The stuff on that poster isn't true, said Nugget. My best friend is a shark. <gasps> Have you lost your gills? <gasps> sharks and minions can't be friends, says this fish. <gasps> Hello, sharks. Hello, sharks eat minions, says this friend. <gasps> Nugget was shocked. Shocked is like you can't believe it. <gasps> and apparently delicious. That afternoon, Nugget explained it all to Fang. Sharks are toothy. Sharks are scary. Sharks are and minions can't be friends. Sounds fishy to me, said Fang. 
It's true, see, said Nugget. He held up his test, then he swam far, far away. Oh no, my friends, so now we've got a second problem in the middle of the story. Not only was Fang sad because Nugget had to go to school and leave him behind, that was the first problem, but the second problem is Nugget now tells Fang, we can't be friends because I'm learning at school, that sharks are dangerous. <sighs> All right, well, hopefully we get to the end soon where we fix those problems because we know that's not true. Fang's heart sank. And when your heart sinks, <gasps> you go kind of like... <sighs> There was nothing he could do about being toothy, but he needed his best buddy back. He had to prove he wasn't scary. So Fang has a plan to fix the problem. On Tuesday, many minions had a surprise visitor. A very big surprise visitor. The visitor, the visitor gave Nugget his friendliest smile. Give yourself a friendly smile. Oh my algae, said Nugget, it's Fang. So as Fang was excited to see his friend at school, all of the other minions were kind of scared. On Wednesday, Fang tried a different approach. A different approach is like a different thing. Dear Nugget, I'd love to have you over for dinner. Sincerely, Fang. We, he wants to eat you for dinner. Holy mackerel, said Nugget. So the fish are telling him, don't go. He wants to eat you. So once again, we're still in that middle problem that they're trying to tell, fish are trying to tell Nugget, don't be his friend. He's trying to hurt you. But I think Nugget knows deep down inside, that's not the truth. On Thursday, Fang tried everything he could think of. A tattoo, a special delivery, a song and dance, but nothing worked. And those are all the things that Fang is doing to really show his friend Nugget that he is his friend and does not want to hurt him. On Friday, Fang was out of ideas. All alone, he swam over, blup. He swam under, blup, blup. He swam all around, blup, blup. Bump. He was not even close to perfect. So in the middle, at the he has kind of just given up. After trying and trying to show his friend Nugget that he's not a bad guy, he's kind of given up. Fang was so busy boohooing, he didn't notice a net drop. Down, 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 right on the mini minions. I feel seasick. We're caught. We're the catch of the day. Oh no. So the fish are now in trouble. So now we have a third problem in the middle of the story. Nugget was sad and Fang were sad because they no longer were able to play because Nugget had to go to school. Then the second problem was Nugget told Fang we can't be friends because I'm being taught at school that sharks are dangerous to fish. Now we've got another problem. All these fish got caught by a net. I wonder if this is going to help us get to the solution to the end of the story. The net pulled up, up, up. Somebody help! Fang squinted. Nugget! He had to do something, but what? Fang fanned his gills. He rang his fins. Then... had a plan. I think he's going to use his teeth because the sign says danger, shark sighted, big shark teeth. And I think he's thinking he's going to use his teeth. Fang's big shark teeth chopped. Fang's big shark teeth chewed. Fang saved the mini minions. All the minions stared. <gasps> Look at them. They're kind of still scared, right? They're like, well, this big shark just saved us, but is he going to eat us? Let's see. Do you think he's going to eat him? Let's make a prediction. Yes or no. 
I agree. It's a no. He saved that. I know. I know, said Fang. I'm toothy. I'm scary. Too sharky. So Fang is like, I saved you guys, but I know you don't want to be my friend. Wait! Nugget swam toward Fang. There were 10 minions, he said, and a very special shark came along. How many friends are there all together? There was only one answer. Let's make another prediction. Do you think they're going to all be friends at the end of the story? This is where we're getting to the end. Do you think they're all going to be friends? Yes or no? Keep up your thumb. In the deep, deep ocean lived 11 friends. They swam over, look. They swam under, look, look. They swam all around. Gluck, gluck, gluck. And everyone was all smiles, especially you know who. Fang's food chain. And if we notice the illustration, it has a lot of vegetables and fruits and different types of things, but no minions because Fang only has his minions as friends. All right, so let's think about it. What happened in this story? Let's take out our five finger retail and let's retell quickly. In what was the setting of the story? The setting was in the ocean. You've got it. The characters. Fang and Nugget and all of the other minions. What happened in the middle, uh, in the beginning of the story? You've got it. So in the beginning of the story, Nugget and Fang were bestest of friends and they were swimming around and having a good old time. Now what happened in the middle of the story? Remember, we had three problems in the middle of the story. First problem was Fang was sad because Nugget had to go to school. Second problem was Nugget was being told by all the other uh, fishes that he couldn't be friends with Fang because he wanted to eat him. And the last problem was all of the little fish with Nugget inside got stuck in the net. At the end of the story, though, we've got that solution, which is the heart. Who saves the fish? Fang. So after Fang saves the fish, all of the fish want to be Fang's friend. Now, what was the story all about? What was the main idea or the main topic? Let's take a think time. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, what was it all about? Remember, when we tell the main idea, we're not telling everything that happened in the story. We're telling what happened just in a li little short sentence. Well, what happened? Nugget and Fang? were friends and then they stopped being friends because they were told a lie and then at the end they got all back together. So the main idea of what the story is all about is about Nugget and, Fren and Fang and how they had a problem but they were able to solve it, right? So that was the main idea of the story. All right, so I wanna challenge you tonight when you read, I want you to take out your five finger retail and I want you to use it to retell whatever story, but remember, Good retellers don't go through back and retell everything. They retell the most important things. So challenge on. I will see you soon. I wanted to share this really awesome book. I hope you enjoyed it and we will be in touch. And I hope that you do your challenge today and we can um, talk about it next time. Have a great rest of your day, kiddos. Stay safe.